So we're here at the Flat River Fish Weir. This is my first time ever coming to check this out. And just as we're walking up, you can see the surface is just boiling with loads of salmon. Bunch of cohos. Fins sticking out of the water everywhere. What a sight. It's pretty cool. Betsy too. Oh yeah, you're definitely getting one thrown at you when there's a good day. Oh, okay. Now I can see all the black is essentially fish. Yes. Yep. I thought it was like grass and moss and stuff, oh. but there's literally just like... <laughs> you look over here, thousands. Yeah. It's, it's a sand bottom. Yeah. That's how I realized it because I could see him moving on that edge. This is insane. Yes, yeah, so if you look up to the far right corner of the screen, you can see the sandbar. So this is all like a sandy bottom area. So anything that appears black in the water is a giant swarm of fish. You can see a little bit of sand here because there's not so many fish right there. I mean, there's like 30 fish right there, but on the edges you can see so there's thousands and thousands of fish right here right now. Pretty amazing to see. This ladder is loaded and you can see some fish jumped up into that grate and got stuck and died. Oh, big one. Oh, he's chasing my spinner. Fudge. Oh, he came right at it, swooped at it, and followed it, and didn't hit it. He disappeared right when he got it close. I watched him follow it right up to where I'm at. So we're out here on the Platte River. Uh, this is my first time actually fishing the Platte River other than a brief uh, bit fishing some of the upper stretches in town uh, in honor. Um, so we're out here checking this out. The general consensus from everyone we've been talking to this weekend in town is that uh, it's been pretty slow on the Platte. And we've been here for just a little bit, and we've seen a few salmon here and there. Um, even a couple steelhead, I think. But um, 
not not a lot of fish. Not what I was expecting based on the stories I've heard about the plat and swarms of fish that you can just reach out and grab one, that sort of thing. So I don't know if we're in a funky part of the run, if it's behind, if it uh, happened fast and it's kind of over. But uh, we're going to keep checking things out and see what we can find out here on the Platte River. Uh, we're about to explore these bends up in here as long as we can get up in there. Uh, it's pretty deep and kind of hard to wade, but it's really slow and clear. Um, but there's deep holes and mucky areas that have made it kind of difficult to navigate so far. But uh, right now we're butt deep in the water. So that's not too bad. So we'll see if we get in any fish or not. Oh, well, there's one floating belly up right in front of me here. Look at this. <laughs> He's swimming in circles. <laughs> Definitely a lot more action here than the other spot. Mm -hmm. It at least gives you some numbers to cast at. Oh, here they come back through. Oh yeah. Usually pretty tight to the bank for the most part though. Yeah, you'll see a ripple. Yeah. Now when they're really running, they're just everywhere. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> they get gun shy of everybody. And yeah. So they start traveling right along the bank. And you'll see the water rippling and you'll know they're coming. Right. There's smaller pods. We're hooking in the pods of like water. Yeah. Just all day long for a week. <laughs> videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe 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 button